Hey there! It's finally time for our shovel run. That was sick though. Well, we're trying to make it happen again. We will take this. I'm gonna be picking perks and items that are rather unorthodox to me this run. Like that gluttony pick just now. I'm gonna need the survivability. Yeah, I guess. I guess if we get Judge Ball, that's very unlucky. We just kinda gotta wait for him, huh? I kinda really want Catacoaster with Shovel. Cause we get... I feel like we, we just we just kill ourselves if we try attacking Judge Ball whenever he's not doing his flame attack. We had just lost a run to Judge Ball, but we were feeling really good about this run. Hey, Muntru, how you doing? Good to see you. Now, for this run, we decided to pick Commando because of their explosive capabilities, but also because the increased movement speed and fire rate from our passive Fury Point seems like a good pick for melee. We also just picked up the Point Blank perk, which gives us 40% increased weapon damage um, when within 7.5 meters of our enemy. Probably take that. I don't think we're going to be doing enough shock damage with the CD to stun enemies, period. But we can still take CD, it'll do even more damage. So, that's good. I said CD, but I really meant floppy disk here. I compare the 20% increase to shock damage from the sponge with the damage I deal with the floppy disk just by being near enemies. Second half of the Kaboom Grenade bid. Yeah, I really wanted to show the first run. Ooh. Magnet? I think we'll take that. And water bottle? Okay, this is a good run. This is a good run so far. I'm a fan of this run. I almost never take water bottle, but for a shovel only run, I would need to utilize my hero cape gadget. This allows me to do a slam on the ground whenever I crouch in midair, and it deals damage in a large area of effect. We would be doing this frequently, so applying cryo on that slam is something we want to take. You didn't see the second half live? Well, you got to see it in the video then. It makes it even more... That, even, that raises the stakes even higher for you. Because you went into it with the knowledge that I filled the first time. One thing that was very hard for me to adapt to with the shovel was explosive enemies. Luckily, I found out that the shovel has a decent amount of range. Enough so that you could be standing just barely outside of the death blast radius of certain enemies while hitting them. Now, I hadn't mastered this, so it was a bit iffy, but it provided me the possibility of getting hits off on enemies without being dangerously close to them. Fire rate, yes. We had made it to the right. Oasis. Time to upgrade our shovel to Fantastic Rarity and really start getting to work with that rocket jump. This would dramatically change the run and let us start getting really crazy. Again, forgot to upgrade my shovel before grabbing it. Now it's going to cost money. I will take Ice Cream Cone. We have, we have Hero Cave, so that's really nice, honestly. Uh, and then... Toy Helicopter is actually probably really good for this, so I'm going to take that. Even though we had Banana right here. No, uh, I'm fine. I'll take Toy Helicopter, because we're going to be doing a lot of head bonking with this. Now, I was feeling a bit bummed out about passing up the banana. It would have helped our boss damage considerably, but in hindsight, banana would have been a really bad pick this early in the run, as Rocket Jump and Hero Cape would be helping me with, with mobbing throughout the entirety of this run. We made the right choice. Oh yeah, I am liking what we have already. We we are getting a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of booms going right now. We like this. As you can see, the upgraded shovel is actually not even that bad. You know what? It's actually pretty good. The real struggle of this run wouldn't be the weapon itself, but the way that my playstyle needs to change in order to complement the weapon. Going from range to melee is a tough change.
Man, I tried to watch other streamers play in this game, but no one came close to your speed. I'm sure there's a few out there that are very, very good. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Taking down an enemy with elemental damage generates one point. Uh, we're not going to be doing... I don't think we're going to be taking down enemies with elemental damage, but fire truck's a good pick here. One of them is here. We do have jinxed... Uh, Jinx Murph in here. And he's kind of like he's kind of like Mr. Robo Quest. Like if you if you wanna the, the times I've watched him, he's been testing out stuff, so he hasn't been like flying through the game, so I can't vouch for his speed, but this man knows the game inside and out, so I'm sure if you catch one of his streams, you will find something out that you didn't know about the game. He is just the human encyclopedia. He's just the wiki. He is the wiki. So, you know, if you ever see him, you're going to get a bunch of information you probably didn't have. Just by just by being around him, probably. If you're just hanging out in his chat sometime, you'll come out a better player. Is YouTube has a speedruns? That's right, he is a speedrunner. He is a speedrunner. I have not checked out his speedruns yet, but I know he does speedruns. And I also know that he's one of the only people that did uh, the high like the highest difficulty speedruns in early access. So I'm I'm sure he is just as fast, if not much, much, much faster than me. <laughs> he is he is most definitely probably faster than me. Repair of Fury. All day long, baby. I'm just here to. We grabbed Repair of Fury because it's an incredibly strong survivability perk. It heals our scratch damage for as many points of fury we have per second. Game might not be very popular on Twitch. The game is criminally underrated right now. I wouldn't say it's underrated, actually, because everyone that I've seen play this game, or like anyone that talks about this game, loves it to death. I think it's just. It's criminally underexposed. This game needs a lot more exposure because there are so many people out there that would fall in love with this game, but they just don't know it exists. Oh, oh, okay. I was going the right way. I mean, you don't gotta be good at a game to stream it. Other streamers just might be nice guys trying to hang out and play video games. That's why I do it. I am I just happen to have a lot of video game experience over the years, so, you know. I'm, whenever I pick up a new game, I can catch on pretty quick. Just because, you know, I've been around the space for a while, so I can come to terms with things pretty quick. But no, I, I don't blame people who just want to hang out, though. That's honestly why I stream. If I just wanted to show off, I would just post to my YouTube. But it's way more fun to have people here to, like, talk with. Just, you know, have a good time while I do all this stuff. You guys get to see all my failed runs, too. I am not an infallible player. I do indeed die and have bad runs. But you're only ever going to see the good ones on YouTube. Rubber tape, baby. Let's snag that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Not widely known yet. Most of the YouTube sponsors... Most YouTube videos are sponsored vids. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. 
Billy Boom is not my boss of choice for this. Billy Boom is tough for a shovel only run because he has a unique mechanic built into him. If you get too close to him, he will start to prime himself oh, for detonation. Maybe? And if he does successfully detonate, it will kill you and end the run. This was a bit of a tricky I situation. I have to be at maximum range when I'm hitting him with this. Oh my god. That punch, man. I'm scared of it. Yeah, we turned off the bomb. You're gonna get ground pounded. <laughs> get bonked. Um, Frontliner, very solid. We should take that. Uh, most of the YouTube videos respond to vids, and yours were the first that were actually bringing some interesting content to the table. I appreciate the kind words. I really, really do. But there are other creators out there. <laughs> da, 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 da. I do not want to discredit anyone else that's working hard in the space. Atomic Radish, also really nice. Aw, oh, man, I like this rice cooker, though. I really like this rice cooker for survivability. God damn it. Uh, I'll probably take the Atomic Radish. Aside from leaving my comfort zone, this run wasn't actually that bad. A lot of people were worried this would be harder than my Kaboom Grenade only run, but after experiencing the hell that is Kaboom Grenade only firsthand, I was actually relieved to be using the shovel. The shovel's range does not get increased. I don't think so anyways. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't though. Whoa, buddy, where are you going? Rover will not be getting away from me. Oh, yikes. Not liking what I'm seeing here. There we go. Takes a while to get those guys down with the shovel. It does not go up despite the level up saying it does. Well, there you go. Um. Yeah, armor. Armor is probably what I should just focus on. We have repair of fury, so. Oh, yeah, that's the upgrade to it. What am I talking about? <laughs> Ooh, I like Poppy here. We definitely like Poppy. Poppy is incredibly strong for this run. He can't hit manual crits with a shovel. You can only hit auto crits. So taking Poppy is absolutely going to help out our damage, especially if it procs on one of our rocket jumps. Pogo stick triggers a burn explosion. I guess we can take that. Yeah. Um. Ah, I'm not going to take any of those. I could have taken while crouched. Deal 20 or 15% more damage or whatever it was. But I'm probably not going to spend too much time attacking while crouched. 
Damn. He got away. heavily sleeping on hero cape up until this run. I use it frequently as a movement tool, but I've never used it with the intention being for damage. It is actually really strong, and once we get our hands on a certain perk with commando, our hero cape and rocket jump are going to be insanely strong. You can jetpack and crouch? Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, never mind that. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty good. Now, how does that work with pogo stick? Can you do like pogo stuck in midair or do you need to be on the ground in order to get the super jump? Okay, those guys are tough. Baby Boom? Yeah? I like Rob Zerker as well. But, I mean, Baby Boom just beautiful because of our rocket jumps, you know? Does Baby Boom proc on Hero Cape as well? Oh yeah, Monocle's perfect for this build, guys. <laughs> I'll take toaster. I mean, lemon's just solid. We'll take lemon. Non-elemental damage. And snow globe. I like both of these, uh, but I'm stupid. So I'm going to take non-magic ring, and I'm stupid because I took something before them. But being able to apply freeze to myself would have been great with lollipop, since I don't know if kazoo procs on shovel. I'm a little worried that Kazoo won't rock on Shovel. Taking non-elemental ring there is going to dramatically increase our Shovel and Rocket Jump damage while hurting our Hero Cape damage since we have Water Bottle. The benefits outweighed the penalties in my mind. It will? Oh, okay, nice. All right, let's keep our eyes out for Kazoo then. We also took Baby Boom as our perk before the checkpoint, and that is the MVP perk this run. It is going to make our rocket jumps and hero cape slams have the chance to explode twice with a larger blast radius but lower damage. This would take both our mob clearing capabilities and boss damage to a new level. Increase crit damage? Nope. No chili peppers this run. Really hoping for Catter Coaster here. These kill rooms were easy with this build, and I felt bad for the enemies trapped in such a confined space with me. We could really feel the effect of Baby Boom here, and it felt good. Yeah, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun doing all that. Those little arena rooms are really fun with Shovel. Um, honestly, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, I would love to get rubber duck. Let's see what we have in here first. Um, 
decreases the efficiency by 50 percent yikes i mean i don't know if that's worth we would be going up to 44 armor though without scratch damage um ah uh, what else was over here what else was over here we have frog prince so we're gonna we're gonna take frog prince we're gonna be airborne a lot Explosion damage and radius. Uh, yeah, I'll take that over auto crit right now. the AOE. We were making short work of the energy labs, the location that I always consider to be the hardest of the bunch. I had made it through here by the skin of my teeth in previous runs, but I was cruising on this one. I was just fearful that we would have to fight Judge Ball, since Catercoaster is a better matchup for Melee. If you guys want though, if you guys want this game to get a little bit more traction, the Steam Awards are out right now. And I mean, I definitely didn't put this game, it, this game doesn't fit into every category, but there is a best soundtrack category. So if you guys wanna put this game on everybody's radar a little bit more, you should go onto Steam and vote this game as best soundtrack. If you agree with that opinion anyways. Dude, not again. Stop with the judge ball. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Oh shit. I don't like this. I do not like this. Judge Ball is tough, because the only opportunity he actually affords a melee build to land hits is during his flame attack. Sure, you can land hits during his laser barrage, but it's way riskier, and having lost a few runs to that exact move before, I opted to play a bit safer. Do your flames. Okay. Jesus. Woo! That is, that is tough. That is tough. 
Yeah, I think Counter Coaster is probably like leagues easier than that. Its crit damage is huge. What? How do you know what it? Is there any like indicator for me to know what its crit damage is, or you just know that from experience? Did you miss me, you wankers? Yo, Young Spud. Thank you for the three gifted. Love you, dude. Thank you. That's awesome. We really appreciate the support. Oh my god, we have such good picks here, but we only got to choose. We we're only allowed to choose one. I don't know. Head bonk damage is really solid. And I'm really liking perfume bottle as well. There's 100% more crit damage. You're right. You're right, Jinxed. I think I'm going to take head bonk. No, I don't think I'm going to take head bonk. Am I going to take head bonk? I, I am going to take head bonk. All right, let's do this. Thank you so much, Young Spud. I really appreciate it, man. Now, I still don't know if taking head bonk damage was the play there. I had taken it with the premonitions of jumping on Iris' head in my mind, but maybe the perfume bottle would have been the play. Cucumber also would have been huge since we had Repair of Fury. This was just a tough choice all around. And that is why we increased our headbog damage. <laughs> After seeing it in action, though, I remembered that we already had Helicopter, which guarantees us a rocket jump whenever we headbonk an enemy every five seconds. This was good enough synergy for me to justify the pick, and I was happy with the results. Oh, hold on. Let's go visit the cinema real quick. It's right over here. I'm not gonna lie, I think the shovel should make the fucking TF2 frying pan sound upon hitting something. You're go you're all gonna hate me for this. But I've never played TF2. God. Gotta deal with the big gorilla boy. Alright. You and me. Beautiful. Alright, what do I want here? Do I do crit madness? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? We have point blank repair fury baby boom. What do I want? Scanning Burst is the obvious choice here, but we weren't using our shorty this run. I have two rerolls, and obviously... Oh, wait a minute. Does mini missiles proc on shovel hit? Does it count as me shooting whenever I swing? Now nah, let's reroll real quick. Um... Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. What's our, what are our other options though? What am I missing right here? Isn't there one where anytime I take damage, I deal increased damage? I kind of want that over mini missiles. 59 damage each. This is such an obnoxious run. Yes, it is. If you're not doing shovel only, scanning burst would be the pick. Yeah, I know. I would I would 100 I never I never skip out on scanning burst, but for the sake of us not using any abilities either. It's either we're taking mini missiles or we're gonna re-roll and hope, you know, I'm gonna re-roll. So we have hot potato or crit madness. And this is just a flat 25% increase to damage. So I think we just take that, right? I think we'll take this. You wanted me to take crit there? Even though we're not really going to be generating fury against bosses? Well, you know what? Here's, here's some dice. I'm stupid. We're already level 10. I should have came here before I did the level up. God, I'm just the king of terrible decisions right now. <laughs> I'm 
No, I, I think, I think uh, hot potato is probably the right call there, just because I don't think we're gonna be generating enough fury during the boss fight for it to really matter, right? We were looking for Rob Zerker, but I wasn't going to complain over Hot Potato either. We were weighing a higher increase of damage whenever I get hit to a flat increase of damage. Both were great picks. I'm just, the only reason I was considering Sandals is because I don't know if an enemy's head is considered ground. So like, maybe if I hit while I'm head bonking, it does a lot more damage, you know what I mean? But that would be probably too situational for me to take advantage of often. And it probably doesn't even work. It probably doesn't even count like that. What do you mean, dude? Shovel's OP. You see in this? <laughs> no, it's it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. There's a lot of things that Jinx and I clown on each other for in the RoboQuest Discord and in my chat. But I am in agreement with him here. This is actually not a bad one. This is this is actually pretty good. I'm sure if you were to run like Stim Shield on Guardian, this would be even more silly. It's best on Ranger. You know what? As a Ranger. I don't know if I can consider myself a ranger man anymore. It's been so long since I've done like meaningful content with him. But yeah, Shadow Strike. I was thinking that too. For my first run, I was really wanting to do it on ranger, but a lot of people got mad at me for my uh, starting pistol run because I used ranger and the javelins and the invisibility were just really strong. So I think I'm gonna avoid ranger for for challenge runs unless I just like absolutely have to use them because it's just way too hard without you know but I'll, I'll have to refrain from javelin but shadow strike shadow strike on ranger I can see that being really strong shadow strike with void hunter Fire rate, reduce hot potato. I, I don't use hot potato, I just got it for the damage buff. Alright, what now? Got this little chump over here. A challenge run or a build video? Yeah, like a shovel build can probably be very good. But shovel only is gonna obviously, like, I'm not gonna be able to. Because this thing's probably best as, like, a situational backup, right? Like, he. If you're only running around with a shovel, you might not have the best time. It's not a bad weapon, but it's probably best used as like a situational backup. Dave Weapon Ranger is a legit build for Shovel. 4k crits on Rocket Jump? Okay! Never mind. Maybe I gotta check out Ranger again. <laughs> Even more armor. We love armor here. Non elemental damage. Yeah, we'll take Fountain Pen. And do we have CD? We don't have CD. I kind of want to take it just because I... No, we should upgrade. And then we should save. It's smarter for me to save. We're too far in the run for me to consider ad clear stuff. Ouch! What got me there? Go this way first. Mm 
Dude, Baby Boom is hitting like a truck. Sir, leave me alone. Explosion damage and radius or explosion auto crit? We'll take auto crit this time. As per usual, we were just flying through District 13, but I was starting to think about which boss would be better here. Uncle Jim is widely considered to be the easiest boss in the game, but he can put up an energy shield around himself that damages you if you get too close. That could prove to be quite the inconvenience. Maybe Beetle Royale would be the better matchup for Shovel. We don't have control of it either way, but I was starting to try and think of ways for me to adapt to either scenario with my current build so I didn't get caught off guard when it was time to throw down. It was so good, especially using large AoE. Absolutely it is. I mean, I honestly just feel strong with this at this point. A lot of people were, uh, are gonna be happy. Yes, finally I can pick up magnifying glass. I've never taken this. And finally, finally, it, it has a use. Is this the best run so far? With our shovel? Yes, we've never made it this far with the shovel before. Um, but you know. The moon has a, a, a way of kind of uh, taking everything you've gauged about your build so far and making it meaningless. So we'll see how it goes when I get there. And hopefully I don't get Beetle Royale. Although I will get a lot of head bonks off on Beetle Royale. Actually, Beetle Royale might be better as a shovel user because you get a lot of head bonks off. Easy free head bonks off whenever they do their spin attack. All right, let's get in there. Would you use magnifying glass for dual shotties? Maybe. Yeah, we did a ton of damage really early on in this fight. I think Beetle Royale is the right matchup here. It seems like he can still hit you while you're head bonking. If he's doing a spin. Oh, I just need to not power slam and I'm good. All right, crit damage. Yes. The damage. It was, uh, it was pretty good damage. It's definitely pretty good damage. Auto crit, yes. Um. Do I want hourglass here? I imagine. I imagine no. I imagine I don't want hourglass. Yeah, let's let's roll. We'll see. We'll see. 
Let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Iris could mess me up. It wouldn't be the first time she has uh, been the massive upset of a run. Let's just make it to Iris first. My god, it's actually tougher than I thought it would be. This is the first time I've incorporated a lot of defense and survivability into a build, and my god, you could see the work that it was putting in. Anytime I got hurt, the scratch damage would be healed immediately, and the healing cells were doing much more work because we took gluttony at the beginning of the run. Pair that with the absurd amount of armor we have, and it felt like we were borderline unstoppable as long as we stayed on the offensive. Uh, fury point? Oh wait, we have some rerolls. Healing cells, and I do want to kind of take this for the sake of the healing cells we're going to get while we hit Iris. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this over crit damage. I know, I know everyone wants me to grab crit damage, but I'm going to take healing cells. So for anyone unaware, you get healing cells whenever you deal melee damage to a boss. I was highly intimidated by Iris, even though we had a ton of armor and healing capabilities. Because she just does an absurd amount of damage, and I didn't want her catching me off guard and losing a run to a small mistake. Gluttony was by far the safer pick there, because it increases the amount of mistakes we can make without losing during the Iris fight. Alright, here we go. These were all great items to have. Well, I mean, not the Wonka bar. <laughs> the other two were nice to have, though. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, this damage was pitiful. This would be a long phase one fight. Can I head bonk phase one? Luckily, the fight was easy, even if it was long. I could just stay in her face, and there wasn't really anything she could do to me. Though, I was afraid I would lose my S-rank run because of this. Hopefully, Phase 2 wouldn't take nearly as long. There's a very specific spot that's hard to find. Gotcha. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm able to find it right now. Alright, pray for me. I'm terrified of these laser attacks.
Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was a close one at the end. Oh, we had God. beaten Iris by the skin of our teeth in a very gritty fight. Those laser walls always terrify me. We lost the S rank, unfortunately, but I really enjoyed this run and had a good time with it. Shovel is actually a solid weapon. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. We did it! We did it! Shovel run! <laughs> Finally! Now everyone can get off my ass about it! <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was fun. That was fun. I liked that. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, as it really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it greatly. If you ever want to hang out live, you can check out my Twitch in the description below. I stream weekdays between 8 and 9 a.m. EST. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. Where people aren't like, oh, you need to... Did I check my max hit on that? I'll go check right now. 3,700. Do, 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 do. Thirty-seven hundo. Gotta love the shovel.